Air pollution is normally something that people associate with big factories or diesel cars chugging out thick black smoke. We're becoming far more aware of the impact that air pollution is having on our lives and on our health. But what you might not know is that you can get air pollution inside your home as well. We spend 90% of our time indoors and research by the World Health Organization has found that air quality can be two to five times worse indoors than outdoors. We use loads of different stuff in our home that produces pollutants and without proper ventilation, which people find really hard, especially in wintertime when it's cold, all of that bad air can just stay circulating around your house. Pollution in your home can be caused by a lot of different things and we're going to take a look at some of the most common ones. Heating and cooking. Burning things like fuel in stoves, wood burners and candles. Wood burners actually emit more harmful particles than a diesel truck. Things like dust mites, pollen and pet hair which can trigger allergies in some people. Volatile organic compounds which are found in loads of different things, but stuff like composite wood, like MDF, synthetic fragrances, paints, chemicals in your cleaners. Oh, it's not wiping away. <laughs> I've ruined that. I've ruined the mirror. <laughs> and cosmetics like hairspray. Mold is a really common problem for a lot of houses. It can be caused by leaks, poor ventilation, or if there's moisture in the air, which causes condensation. And normal things like washing, cooking, and cleaning can cause condensation that eventually lead to mold. Today, I've come to the British Lung Foundation because I want to find out a little bit more about what indoor air pollution is, what causes it, and what we can do about it. So come inside with me. We're gonna go and speak to Sarah and find out a little bit more. Um, so I'm really interested to know, firstly, what you guys do here as a charity. Well, at the British Lung Foundation, we're the only charity looking after the nation's lungs. We've spoken a lot about outdoor air pollution and what that means, but I'm interested in how bad indoor air pollution is. Well, all kinds of air pollution affect our health. And I think people are quite aware of what they're breathing outdoors, but maybe not so much what the air might be like at home or at work or at school. But the air indoors can still be a really big problem and can be damaging to our health. And particularly in city centre offices and schools, the air indoors can actually be worse than the air outdoors. And what causes indoor air pollution? Well, indoor air pollution comes from a lot of different sources which can make it feel like quite an overwhelming issue. Mm -hmm. So it can come from passive smoking, that's a really big cause if somebody smokes in the house. It can come in from outside, so from traffic on the roads, if you have your windows open, the pollution can blow in. Mm -hmm. uh, but it can also come from cleaning products that you use around the house, or from chemicals in your carpets, your furniture, your paint. It can come from damp or mould. Um, and it can come from the fuels that you use to cook or to heat your home, like wood burning. Why do cleaning products matter so much and what can we do to lessen the effect that they have on us? Most cleaning products are made up of obviously a whole range of ingredients and chemicals, but particularly they have volatile organic compounds or VOCs in them. And these are the, these are the products, the chemicals, um, which are dangerous for us to inhale when they're released into the air. So spray cleaners or aerosols are particularly damaging because obviously when you spray them, um, that's then released into the, into the air, into the environment, inside your home, and you'll be breathing it in. So a safer option is to choose more natural cleaning products um, or to look at using liquid or solid cleaners rather than sprays to limit what you might be breathing in. So something like a wood burning stove, which I know that a lot of people have in their homes, is a big cause of pollution inside your home? Wood burning is a cause of pollution both inside your home for you, when you're, if you have an open fire or if you have a wood burner, but it also creates pollution outdoors because those particles created by the wood are going up and out the chimney um, and they can pollute the air outdoors as well. And what impact does that have on us in terms of our health of breathing in these particles? So for people who are already living with a lung condition, breathing in polluted air can make their symptoms worse, it makes it harder for them to breathe, harder for them to just kind of get about and live their normal lives. Um, and in the worst instances, it could even trigger an attack or an exacerbation. Mm -hmm. For children, because their lungs are still growing, so breathing in polluted air can actually stunt the growth of their lungs and prevent them growing to their full size, which is setting them up for problems later on. Mm -hmm. 
But for all of us, whether we've got a lung condition or not, breathing in polluted air will make us more likely to get lung disease or heart disease in the future. So really, it affects all our health. And what can we do to make our indoor air cleaner and easier for us to breathe? Well, there are definitely things that you can do to improve the quality of air inside <laughs> your home. Um, number one is that if anybody smokes in the home, they need to go outside. That's still the, the biggest and the most dangerous cause of indoor air pollution. Other than that, it's important to keep your home well ventilated, to open windows, and it's important to do the research on what kind of products you might be using to clean your home, for instance, and then make sure you've got the information you need so that you can swap to products with less damaging chemicals mm -hmm. or using liquids or solid cleaners rather than sprays, for instance, which will limit the number of dangerous chemicals that are being released into the air. Mm -hmm. And finally, if you have a wood burner, it's really important to make sure that you're only burning wood that's been properly treated as that is less polluting and that you buy a wood burner which has the seal of approval on it so that you know it's the least polluting model. Amazing, thank you so much. It was really interesting to meet the British Lung Foundation and find out a little bit more about indoor air pollution. I knew quite a lot about outdoor air pollution but I'd never really thought about the air that hangs around in our homes and as we spend so much time here it's really important that we try and keep it as clean as we can. Here are our top tips for breathing better air indoors. I live in rented accommodation and the ventilation in here isn't amazing, so I have some mould up there. <laughs> it happens to everyone. The important thing to do is to clean it up when you do see it so it doesn't become a bigger problem. That is my plan for this afternoon. <laughs> Open your windows. Ventilating your home is really important, especially when you're cooking or if you're drying clothes inside. Why don't you try opening your windows for 10 minutes the first thing when you wake up and before you go to bed. Fill your home with air cleaning plants like this one and check out the NASA approved list in the description. Hoover and change your bed sheets regularly. Dust mites love to snuggle up in musty places so a quick clean can make all the difference. If this has inspired you to make some more changes in your home or where you work, then please get in touch. Have a look at the things in your home. Is there anything that you could do to change the air that you breathe? If you've got any questions for me or for the British Lung Foundation, then leave me a message in the comments below. And that's the end of the episode. To find out more and to get inspired, head to our website www.hubbub.org.uk where you'll find loads of top tips to give you the spark to do things differently. Tune in for the next episode and come and join the Hubbub.